Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher, with a math puzzle for you, and there are prizes available. This is the second puzzle in the series that could be called It's About Time. As in the other one, please imagine an idealized timepiece, perfectly accurate, having hands that move with perfect continuous smoothness. Here is the puzzle in the form of a fictional story. I took my watch to the local jeweler for cleaning. To do that, he removed the hands. But when he put them back on, he made the mistake of putting the minute hand on the hour hand spindle and the hour hand on the minute hand spindle. When I came to get the watch, he positioned the hands to tell the exactly correct time, four o'clock. Shortly after that, I noticed, though, that the hands were in impossible positions. However, the time came when, just for an instant, the watch told the correct time again when read in the normal way. And the question is, after four o'clock, what was the first time exactly when the watch again told the correct time? If you get the answer, do not post it in this comment section. Instead, go to my profile page, click on Send Message, and message me your answer there. I need the exact answer, not containing an approximation or a rounded decimal. You can give the answer in either of two ways. You can give it as hour and minutes. In that case, there will be a fraction of a minute on the end of the exact answer. Or you can give it in this form, hour, minutes, and seconds. And in that case, the correct exact answer will have a fraction of a second on the end. If you give me the exactly correct answer on your first response, you will be eligible for a prize if you want it, and I will now describe the prize. As, if, as is evident in my music videos, I play the piano. I will go to my piano archives and burn onto a CD a variety of selections from those archives of me playing the piano, and I will mail the CD to you. If you need help deciding whether you want the prize, you can go to my profile page, see my piano videos playlist, and watch one or more of those videos. If you do want the prize, you must include your name and mailing address. In any event, I hope that if you work on this puzzle, it will give you whatever good things it should give you, mental stimulation, pleasure, whatever you can get from it. And thank you for watching this video.